A pep rally helps send the Clay City Lady Eels softball team to Greenwood. They are making their first state final appearance in school history. Community members tell us the Class 1A state championship game is sold out. Zeke Torres joins us now with more. Zeke. Mike, that's right. With a record of 23 and 6, the Lady Eels are on the cusp of doing what no softball team in Clay City history has ever done become state champions. Well, today I found out what makes this team so special. It's a community scream of confidence as the Clay City Lady Eels approach their biggest game to date. For Alyssa Seacrest, the idea of becoming a state champion hasn't felt real. Honestly, no. It's just been a dream of mine all season and the time I've been in high school. and. It's just amazing, especially getting to do it with these girls. They're just really hardworking, goal-oriented girls, and it's just amazing. It was a season players say started slowly and was filled with early injuries. But senior Trinity Sankey says her team developed confidence when it mattered most. I think once everybody on the team got back from injuries and we just came together and really put it to some teams that we didn't expect to run roll them or beat them that badly, like that was, we got this. Like that gave us a lot of confidence going into the postseason. Though Clay City defeated bigger schools and had dominant offensive performances, Coach Jason Sinders attributes this team's success to their chemistry on and off the field. They get, they've got the mojo, so I'm I mean, you know, any good teams, they've got that. We've got that, you know, and they have fun and they, they congratulate each other. And they, when somebody's down, they pick them up. Surrounded by teammates and the community, seniors Charlie Kaler and Haley Hoffman are embracing this moment. I don't think it'll hit me till after the game. It just doesn't feel real yet. It feels like we're just like playing softball. I've been so numb. I just don't know how to feel. It's just crazy. I just never thought that we would be here today, but I know that we can definitely do it. Now, Graham Pugh will have the highlights on this game later tonight. Mike. All right. Uh, thank you, Zeke. And I want you to understand that game is under a rain delay and probably won't start at least until 7 o'clock.